Hello there and welcome to Complete Games and today we're doing a showcase of the two new DLCs that's just dropped from City Skylines. We're going to be going over everything in the Bridges and Piers and Train Stations pack and we'll do it while listening to Railhawk Radio, the new DLC radio station. As well, I noticed that Humble Bundle currently have a sale on City Skylines, so if you're missing some of the older content, then check them out. The sale ends in a couple of days, and I've used Humble plenty of times before. It's for a good cause, and you can pick yourself up perhaps a DLC that you're missing. I'm going to put a pinned comment to my top free DLC to own as well, if you're looking to pick up a bargain, so I'll leave that in the pinned comments. Okay, starting with the bridges and piers content, we're just looking at the new pedestrian bridges. This is the wider version of the wooden bridge for the public path that you can get, kind of like this one. And the other one is just a thinner version with a slightly different railing on it. And I can certainly imagine using this one in my cities going forward. I do get a little bit tired of the generic white bridges that you can get with the initial game. so. I'm certainly going to be dropping this one in on my new cities. I'm liking that. Now, I've noticed that on the store page, a few people have been given this thumbs down because they can't locate the DLC. Well, it's all located separately in these end menus here. And if you're still having trouble finding it, then I do believe that the load it mod is the culprit as to why you can't find these DLCs. So simply uninstall that and these will show up. And uh, I'm sure that Paradox will patch that as well. But uh, here's the sea walls as well. This one has got a railing on it. And again, it's nice to have a little bit of variety. I'm liking the stonework on the front here. Now, excuse the mess because we're just jumping from one to the other here just to see the differences. This is without the railing and it's got some lighting. Now, this is quite interesting because we've got the lower pathway. So, so for more of these sheer drops, we can get a secondary pathway on the go and these all kind of link together. I think that's actually, I might have placed the same one again. Yeah, that looks like the same as that one, but you can bridge these together with these steps. So you've got a lower pathway and this really suits the lower dropped areas. So you are going to need to do a little bit of terraforming, but if we just put one between here like so we can see how it links up I've actually got the fatter one but we've got a nice little walkway we could put a couple of props on the end there and um, can certainly imagine a more of a seasidey town and I like these barriers these are the other versions as well some different brickwork going on here and again the same things you can just link these up and put steps down to the second path area and this one here, it's got a few steps. I think this is probably my least favorite of them with the steps coming down, but I do like the front. And that being said, this is probably my favorite one of the sea barriers just here. So certainly nice to see something different and uh, very much reminds me of a seasidey type town. Now these are the two piers. I haven't really placed these properly. Again, they're only suited to lower terrain so when you place them down on an angle like this they raise up a little bit too high as you can see here the steps going up on this pier doesn't make much sense to have it like that so a little bit of terraforming is needed to place these two piers properly but let's move on to the bridges that you get within this pack which is probably the main thing that you would be after starting with this one here this one is just slightly different to the original bridges that we can get it's got a three lane road and there is a railing at the side as well so you can get pedestrians walking down and we've got a free ray bridge here now this one here i really do like this reminds me of a bridge that's quite local to me and um i love the sort of artwork on the side here these bricks it really does set something off and uh yeah, I'm, I'm certainly thinking about how I can integrate these into my city. Um, this one, and again, with these barriers here, very similar to stuff that you find over the rivers in the UK. So I find these are very more European looking bridges. And again, kind of looks like a little bit of a castle with a viewpoint on the road. But really liking that. And it's a little bit dark on that side, but there's the view from the other side. So 
can think of a local bridge near me that also has that sort of style to it as well so it just feel quite European and uh, they don't make bridges like that anymore again we've got the two lane version of it just here and again it's just going to add something extra to the cities and a one lane version of it just here I think really really liking these bridges moving on here another one we've got a four lane road here with uh, looks like a nice pathway liking that one so sorry that's the six lane road as well so plenty of options now for bridges and again like I'm saying just having that little bit break up of different textures really can add so much to the cities now this one here has got a pathway going underneath it I do need to experiment with this one and it looks like you can attach a pathway up here and have a pathway going underneath the bridge so that is a really cool idea and I guess this one's going to need some experimenting as to how we can integrate that into the city I'm not sure if you can just delete that bit of bridge there and perhaps curl it out or yeah, it looks like it it does detach so perhaps a little bit of playing around with this and uh, you can have a walkway going under the bridge I like that I like that and just moving on to this last one here we got this green bridge again it's kind of similar to the train bridge that's in the original game but again another different color I like it so that's the bridges and piers pack and everything that's in there 22 assets all together in that pack and again a lot of different options for your bridges I think will add a nice stamp to your city and of course with these barrier walls as well and the lower drop down walls I think these are going to also add just something extra to your cities and I'm looking forward to playing around with these myself I think I like the last ones just here the different texture of stone on them in particular the last one with the steps Moving on to the train stations content creator pack. This one comes with 12 different stations and four hubs. It was created by Bad Peanut. And this is the first of the hubs here. As you can see, we've got is it five lines coming in and then you can also angle having two lines come off the top. So there's something parallel here if you need to change direction. And a very, very modern looking hub station. And these are the subways here again really liking these subways because most of the time all of this stuff just runs underneath the city you don't even really know it's there so it's just nice to have a new option and of course you'll see your subset ways running and adds another texture i did link them up so you can see what it looks like there you go there's a subway just pulling up just now and the moving escalators i believe this one is quite a big pack as well you can get subways coming off in all different directions with this pack and of course the mass transit pack already adds plenty of stations but i do like playing around with the train stations and it's nice to have a few options now if we check this one out here most of these stations come with their own car parks and i really approve about this uh, i'm liking having the train station car parks at the front and this particular one has an upper and a lower station as well coming off at a different angle so this one again just a different option if you've got something on a hill or slightly different terrain this one might be a good one to experiment with and yeah really liking that i do like the addition of these car parks at the front though that really do set them off this station here i do believe this is another one of the hub stations but it looks like it's got a little market underneath the train station and again everything's sort of sat in shadow at the moment but liking this one looks like a major station again it's got the car park in the middle and looks like we've got four lines in here as well just another way to break up a few lines and have them go in different directions I really like this okay so let's move on over to this side I guess again another subway here and just slightly different this one's got three 
subway lines underneath and again just really like the fact that you can see into the subways now and yeah just see what everybody's up to and this doesn't take up too much space at the top but one of the things when you're building your cities most of the stuff on the subways just goes underground so it's nice to have some stuff which pops back up again this one fixes to the road in fact a couple of these ones are fixed to the road so we've got the raised subway platform just here and yeah very modern looking this one there we go there's our subway train so yeah it kind of looks like the metro but yeah just nice to be able to have the subway raised if you wish again this is another one that connects to the road and bringing the subway above ground again a very modern looking subway build and I like all the escalators going up there but yeah it'd be nice to actually send the subways above ground for a change really really liking that we got this final one again and ooh, it's on fire oh no it's already burning down that's not good for our showcase well they put the fires out it's gone a little bit rusty but you get the general idea here again massive glass window on the front of this raised subway so I think that's all of the subways covered. Now we're going on to the train station. This one here I've placed on a hill and I think this one really needs to be placed on a flat surface. As you can see these steps are far too steep so perhaps a little bit of terraforming when putting this one together. But I love the way the little walkway comes down into the middle of the platform here. It's just two tracks. Really, really liking that. So let's move it along. Again, I got this one down on a flatter surface. Again, coming with the nice car parks already attached to your stations. I like that. And this one has two tracks. Little platform going over the top of the tracks there for everybody as well. Again, we've got a three track modern build train station here. Again, with the addition of the car park at the front. In fact, this is four tracks. So I'm liking it. Yeah, just a, another twist. Ah, there we go. We've got a train arriving. I did hook up some trains so we can get an idea of what they look like. And yeah, I can just see the little escalator working inside there. Love it. Okay. Which ones we've we missed off? Ah, I've left the best till last. These last three. And again, this one's pretty huge. We've got four lines at the top and this modern looking wood architecture on the outside and love the fact that there's a car park underneath it as well something that's been missing and yeah it's just nice addition to have these car parks this one's got a huge car park out the front like that and yeah it really does add something else to the build so just a double track here but with a really nice large car park on the modern build and this is the final one and probably my favorite this curved station here really really like that with the car park going underneath and a raised platform again we've got four tracks ending on this one so I'm really liking that train station but that's pretty much what you get in both of these asset packs and I think there's just a couple of train track bridges that we've missed out in fact three of them so we've got this one here has this kind of purpley blue looking outside to it something else that's different becoming a two-way and this one here again a raised metal cladding single lane train there I, I like this one I can imagine using this in the middle of the cities and again another raised bridge and here's the final one again we've got a two-way here so again really useful useful bridges so there you have it, that's a brief overview of all of the assets you get with these two new content creator packs. Loving the addition of the underground subways that we can see into with this one. 
And of course, when it comes to content creator packs, well, it's a way to support the modding community. And the two modders, Almesto and Bad Peanut, have won this one. So if you do pick up these packs, it's a way to support the modding community. And it really is down to them that these games get so much more longevity and I can't imagine the amount of times I've downloaded something from Bad Peanuts, so it's nice to see that he's got one. And Almesto done a great job here as well. So if you're going to be picking up these packs, that's what you get. Don't forget, if you're watching this video as it goes out live, then Humble Bundle have got that sale. So check out my video in the pinned comment down below as to what top three DLCs I recommend. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.